You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Her secret past will be exposed. All narcissists have past, like anybody else. But narcissists invariably have far more skeletons in the cupboard than your ordinary person. Why? Because we mistreat people, we abuse them. Whether it is a litany of exes who have found themselves cheated on, whether it is a raft of exes who have been abused, whether it's family members who've had to deal with an aggressive and destructive family member who has caused disruption all throughout their interactions with the family, whether it's somebody who has been repeatedly sacked from their jobs, somebody who's known as a serial shagger, somebody who may even have engaged in lots of criminal activity, conning people out of money, physical assaults, even murders. Narcissists invariably have very full cupboards with a variety of behaviours which would meet with disapproval. And therefore, their narcissism seeks to keep much of that quiet and hidden from other people in order to ensure that it doesn't pose a threat to control. Of course, the possibility of such exposure of the secret past of a narcissist is going to cause a threat to control, and especially in relation to those mid-range narcissists that operate those facades of being kind and decent people. Whilst it may be problematic to have public condemnation of, say, a lesser, invariably lower lesser and middle lesser aren't particularly that famous and don't give two hoots if they become infamous. For instance, they've engaged in criminal activity which is exposed. They basically, although it is a threat to control, it doesn't impact upon them as much as it would do with a mid-range narcissist because they trade so much upon their facade and the smashing of their facade by the revelations of poor conduct, which is backed up by evidence, is a massive blow against that mid-range narcissist. Of course, with Harry's wife, there are so many rumours about skeletons in her closet. The suggestion, for instance, that she caused a girl's eyes to be glued together, resulting in a payoff to keep it ever so shush. The suggestion that she hasn't actually given birth to her children, having had them either just as children who are borrowed from other people, or that she had children but through a surrogate. There's the suggestion, of course, that she isn't actually <clears throat> 41, and rumours continue to swirl in that regard. There are rumours that she had a hysterectomy in the past. There's been rumours that there was somebody that she was married to before Trevor Engelson. There are rumours about the fact that she may have a secret child that has been brought up elsewhere. Many rumours abound about Harry's wife, some of which may be accurate, some of which may not. And there's probably even more with regard to, of course, the allegations that she's bullied people, mistreated individuals, some of this information having been unearthed by the likes of Tom Bauer and therefore likely to be credible as a consequence of the excellent research that Mr Bauer undertakes. The fact is, like any narcissist, Harry's wife has those skeletons in her cupboard and a secret past. And moreover, for her, it's particularly problematic for two reasons. One, as a middle mid-range narcissist utilises facade, and two, she's so well known that the interest in her is substantial, but also that should these things from her past ever be exposed, they're going to be exposed on a worldwide scale. And the threat to her control by such exposure would be on a thermonuclear Armageddon range. Closer magazine, that bastion of brilliant journalism, tells us humiliated Harry and Harry's wife braced themselves for more scandal. Is it the case that there are serious concerns that her secret past is going to be exposed? The royal family has stayed resolutely silent in the two years since Prince Harry and Harry's wife launched the first tirade, assertion of control through smearing, against them during their March 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, until last week. King Charles has made it clear that his patience with the Sussexes is wearing thin, after news emerged that he asked his youngest son, Harry 38, and Harry's wife, <coughs> 41, to leave their UK home, the Frogmore slap, as it has become known. 
Reports alleged that the shock eviction notice had been issued just a day after the release of Harry's controversial memoir, Spare, in January, and the Sussexes, who were gifted Frogmore by the late Queen, are said to be removing their belongings from the picturesque English home to their sprawling £12.3 million home in Montichicho. But with relations already at breaking point between the Sussexes and the Royals, a source reveals that this latest move has left Harry and Harry's wife stunned, and this clear signal that they're no longer welcomed in the United Kingdom will be followed by further revelations from their pasts. The insider says Harry's wife and Harry were shell-shocked over the Frogmore decision. It's yet another slap in the face that's caused them major embarrassment, i.e., of course, for Harry's wife, see parts pass him a threat to control. Frogmore was a real safe haven and a much-loved bolt hole, which they'd taken a lot of trouble to decorate and style to their own tastes. They took great comfort from knowing it was there for them and their family, and really didn't believe Charles would humiliate them like this. It blindsided them. The move by King Charles is a world away from the first speech he made as the head of state following the Queen's death in September, during which he addressed his love for Harry and Harry's wife, a social control through flattery. But with the ongoing question over whether Harry will attend his father's coronation in May still hanging over the royals, the source now reveals this latest move has thrown the decision into further uncertainty. Harry is also currently embroiled in a legal battle with the Home Office over their refusal to offer him and Harry's wife, along with their children Archie, three and one-year-old Lilibet, police protection when they come over to the United Kingdom. Now, with their safe place swiped from underneath them, the source adds they're still holding their cards close to their chests about whether or not to attend the coronation, whether it's together or Harry by himself. But if they do, it's almost certainly going to be a whistle-stop trip. Publicly, they're shrugging the eviction off, but behind the scenes it stings and feels like further proof that the senior royals are moving to marginalise them from the fold while slamming the door on an eventual reconciliation. Highly likely that that action would be taken. Over the past few months, Harry's wife has come under fire for her claims not adding up, such as a 2014 post on her blog, The Tig, where she wrote, Grown women seem to retain this childhood fantasy. Just look at the pomp and circumstance surrounding the royal wedding and endless conversation about Princess Kate. Bringing up the past, smearing. This came after she claimed in her 2021 Oprah interview that she had little to no knowledge of the royal family before she met Harry. There were also discrepancies in the Sussexes' documentary over how they met, with them saying that Harry had first spotted Harry's wife on Instagram, despite previously claiming they met on a blind date. Revision of history. Now, the insider reveals that this latest spate of humiliation has left Harry's wife, who was previously married to American producer Trevor Engelson, worried over who or what will be revealed next. They add, Harry's wife is weary that there will be even more secrets from her past being exposed, such as her previous divorce drama to try to discredit her. This, of course, is her paranoia causing her to think about these things as she finds herself under sustained attack and challenge. It will also mean that she rolls this out by way of concern as part of a pity play to people in order to try and control them. Her team has tried to encourage Harry's wife to pinpoint exactly what her concerns are so that they come up with some kind of strategy to fight back with, thus her PR advisors are trying to help her. But the issue is, it's impossible to track down every single thing she's ever written or said in a past interview, and that's the problem that when you're a mid-range narcissist that regularly lies, you'll change, you change your story so often that you're unable, and also unwilling because the narcissist deems it not necessary, to keep track of the stories that you've told. Now, invariably, this doesn't pose too great a problem for mid-range narcissists because who's going to know about it? Well, it might be, for instance, a couple of exes get together and realise, hang on, they said this about you, but then said that about you. And these stories don't add up. What a wanker. That might be the case. But who's affected by that? Well, they found out that the narcissist tells lies as in a bit of a douche canoe, and they've both realised that what was said about them is untrue. Okay. They might tell a few friends about it. Did you know? But beyond that, they're not going to take a full-page advertisement in the Times or the Wall Street Journal or the Washington Post to tell everybody about this. And therefore, the impact upon the narcissist is relatively minimal. It's a threat to control, undoubtedly so, but they're able to move on, dismissing it and possibly then focusing on other prey, staying away from the two that have unearthed their lies. In some instances, of course, they'll try to counter it, 
trying to drive a wedge between the two individuals, and sometimes it succeeds in that respect. But for Harry's wife, she has a major problem because people scrutinise her. There are millions of people watching her. And, of course, there's plenty of outlets that like to broadcast these discrepancies. So for the usual mid-range narcissist, such discrepancies aren't such an issue because they're small scale. But with Harry's wife having such international prominence, the unearthing of her past, her hypocrisies, her contradictions and her lies is particularly problematic for her. Apparently, the article continues, she is genuinely worried that something will be found. Well, undoubtedly it will, because there's plenty of crap that she's come out with and done. Or that someone she may have crossed paths with could try and come out of the woodwork, highly likely, because there's lots of people that she's pissed off, which could make her look like she's been very liberal, liberal with the truth. In other words, portray her once again as the liar that she is. But Harry's wife is convinced she and Harry still have a fan base. Delusion despite the embarrassing setbacks. So they're not going to let their critics get them down, or at least not on the surface, and continue to work on their rebrand and throw themselves into future projects. Talk about rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic as it sinks. They're putting together all kinds of comeback plans to hopefully improve their image in the weeks and months ahead. Well, as much use as a chocolate fire guard, but unsurprising that Harry's wife will engage in such behaviour. So she is apparently mindful that some of this information, although she's not able to say what, because she can't remember, because the way her narcissism works, it causes her to tell so many porky pies she can't keep track of them, once again denoting her mid-range status and lack of calculated behaviour. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.